This is my island in the sun. Hi guys, Englishman here. Uh, Triton Fountain. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna walk through the walls of the letter. A uh, bit of an eerie walk. We're going down here. And we're gonna follow the walls all the way down. This is uh, built for the Knights of St. John, of course. We're gonna go right along the walls now. Uh, it goes down quite deep into the ditch, it's called, um, where the moat, where the water was. You can see it from here. They've got it all fenced off because it's a bit dangerous, I think. Uh, here's the main wall of the letter. These are lookout posts, looking out for the great siege of the Turks coming over. We're going down into that moat now. All this place is uh, being refurbed, uh, but one thing at a time. The money is a colossal too. Uh, we've just been through a couple of parks and they were two and a half million just to do a park up. Here's Valletta Hefti, champions. I support Balzan, but uh, Valletta's won the league this year. Um, surprising there's not a lot of noise going on. Maybe later on, it's a bit hot at the moment. Uh, here's the main bar where they have the, the, the center. We're continuing on down through. These are, these are all Bastilles, they're massive. Here's the main wall over here. Uh, the ditch where it used to be filled with water they're going to do it up as a park uh, all along they're going to get flowers and uh, it's been going on for about six seven months now but it's a lot of work down there we we'll continue on now come to a lot of interesting things and uh, slowly I think they're doing them up walking all along here this is um, one of the old bridges that went into Valletta but it's blocked off so obviously it's a bit dangerous at the moment there's loads of things on the ground in Valletta um, and loads of things they're finding <laughs> that they didn't even know was there. Look at these little cubbyholes, look at these. I don't know where this, let's go inside here and see where it leads to. There was a gate, but it's pulled up. And you know what you find? You find all sorts of like these entries and then beautiful garden, like a big garden. Oh, this comes. Well, it goes right over here. I don't know where this is. Oh, he drops away quite a lot there. Going down deep though, there. It's so just a small entry here. This is the, the ditch here. Look how deep it is here. And there's another lookout tower. All these are uh, walls built. Look, there's that... Uh, I would love to go inside there, but it's all locked up. You can't get inside. His looks a bit battered here. <laughs> Let's continue down anyway. I saw this open, so I thought, why not we try a look? It leads to nowhere though. But slowly you can see they're doing things to tidy them up a little bit. We're going down here now. Going straight through the uh, the main wall, and don't forget the ditches on the other side. We're going down quite a lot. Um, this is the ditch there. The main wall is a couple of stories high, maybe two to three stories high. Plenty of light here, at least. I remember the old days, there was no, there was no light down this place. Uh, it was a very dirty place. It's tidied up a lot now. I really respect them though, to, trying to get, uh, for a long time now, motorists let the, they didn't realize the history. Oh, what's in here? Oop, nowhere. There was something, it's been blocked off there. Lots of tunnels everywhere.
And you can see we're almost down now, where these cars are parked here. This is where the moat where the water was. You know, a lot of people say underneath Valletta is another city. Uh, and in fact, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, backup about that. There was supposed to be a prehistoric uh, temple before the knights came. And uh, they took advantage of it. But Valletta is built on three valleys. So they knew that the water was coming there. Uh, and they built the Valletta on top of it. Oh, wow, look at this one. This is all locked up though. Soon to be open, I think, though, because it's all being tidied up. And we're right at the bottom now, by the wall. You can see how high the wall is. I think it's getting on to four stories high. Look at these little places here. They've all been bricked up. I, I really wonder what's inside them, though. Don't forget, this was all filled with water in those old days. We just came down that uh, doorway there. A lot of bridges going across from the moat. This road goes down to Floriana, down to the... Uh, you keep going down, you go down to Pieta. Beautiful and quiet down here. And just a short video, show you the wall. But it's impressive, eh? Look, behind me. Um, we're going to walk down here, cars parked down this way here. Um, and I took a short, it's a shortcut. I didn't have to go past the fountain and down that way. Loads of tourists today, Saturday. There's a big ship in as well. I was hearing him hooting away. Um, I didn't have time to go over and do a video of him going out. One time I want to go down to the breakwater and catch the, the boat going out, do a, do a slow motion thing of it. Anyway, thanks. Another video from English Man in Malta. Take care from wherever you are. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Sorry, they're a bit... In, in Maltese we say blood Dutch, the videos. Hit and miss. A lot of, lot of work I've got at the moment. Um, I'm trying to give some uh, videos to you as quick as I can. Come over to Holiday Malta. It's a great new channel. Uh, a lot of people now. We're on about 55 people. They're sharing their photographs of their trip to Malta. You don't have to live in Malta. Um, it would be great if you've been to Malta, obviously you can drop some photographs anyway and say hi to Steve. And don't forget I'm always on Facebook, drop me a line if you want to ask me questions. I uh, had a guy, he sent me a message, he was coming over, um, I forget his name now. We have, I have a lot, a lot of messages. Anyway, thanks a lot, I hope you enjoy the video. Englishman in Malta is here and saying bye for now, take care.